Good morning to you and welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonts. And I'm Brittany Flowers. We have a great show for you today. We have Mayor Sherman Lee and Rita Bishop with us today. Roanoke just received an All-American City Award. So we're going to sit down with them and talk about this huge honor for our area. That is so exciting. Plus, if you are engaged or you are praying that you're going to be engaged very soon, <laughs> You need to listen up to our trends and techniques segments today. Taylor from Rock Paper Beauty Lounge is telling us everything beauty related we need to keep in mind to make sure we are prepared for our big day. Yes, plus our music guest is gearing up for the Virginia Opry. We will welcome the Perry Brothers on our stage to sing us a song. Yeah, and there is a competition coming to our area. What is the Star City Games Invitational and how can people qualify? We have those answers and a little more later in the show. Mm -hmm. And it is Tuesday, which means we have Executive Chef Ted Polfelt with us from 419 West. Today he is making a sweet tea brined mm. pork loin with cheddar mm. grits. Mm. I love it. I love it. My dad was great. just asking me about grits. He says, do you like grits? I said, I love grits. He's like, no. <gasps> well, he's from Philadelphia. Oh. And I said, well, you eat Scrapple, so there's no talking about eat you know, what? grits. Scrapple. What's if Scrapple? you're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, you know about Scrapple. It's all the parts of the, of the pig that you don't want to think about. Uh, oh. Okay? And, and they eat it. And they like it. Okay? So mm. grits, I like. Yes. Scrapple? No. Eh. I don't have to try Scrapple. <laughs> I'm all right with not yeah, you knowing don't what need it to, is. You don't need, we don't need to go there. But anyway, we have trends and techniques on our show today, which yes. I love. I learned so much about the latest trends and styles. But here's a basic thing that we all do. Wash our hair, yeah. right? We all do it. Yeah. And did you know you're probably doing it all wrong? I read this article oh, from no. the New York Times, and I'm doing it all wrong. <gasps> and I bet you you are too. Well. It's a hairdresser who says it's the number one question that he gets from his clients. I've never thought to ask Nev that. Number one question. How do I'm I wash my all hair? the wrong questions. I know, right? Yeah. Okay, he says first, detangle your hair with a quality brush before washing your hair. Do you do that? Yes, that I do. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Never use a comb on hair that's wet. It stresses the hair. I oh. do that all the time. Yeah, I definitely okay. do. Okay. Okay. This is before shampooing, apply a vegetable derived oil to the ends of your hair and brush it. Well, who disperse. doesn't do that? I mean, come on. We should, I, no, I definitely don't. <laughs> and he says that it's should. best to do, do that overnight or 15 minutes prior to washing your hair. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. He says he does not like conditioners. They weigh the hair down. I've I read love that. conditioner. I yeah. <laughs> I leave my conditioner on a long time. This right. Now, when washing, use the right shampoo for your hair. So, like, if you have, like, fine hair right. or dry or yeah. oily. Uh, and don't use too much of it. A teaspoon is all you need. Okay. I definitely use too Bring much. Bringing my measuring cups into the... I know, right? A little teaspoon. Yeah. You lather only the roots of your hair with your fingertips, avoiding the ends. Okay. Okay. And then rinse until it's squeaky clean. Many women rush this step. You don't rinse it enough I have, to get everything out. I have like rinsed out, turned off my shower, felt my hair and been like, nope, and then turned my shower back on and My gone kids back do in. that. Do they? They'll come out of the shower and I'll look at their head, head like right here. They'll yeah. forget this part right here. Right. I'm like you got to get back in. Get in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A conditioner says should only go on the ends of hair and don't rub your hair dry. Use the Moroccan tip to detangle and lift the hair. It's the flicking method, which I've never seen before. I think okay. we have video of it. Mm -hmm. And if we do, we'll share it with you that you literally put your head upside down and you flick your hair dry. Oh. Hmm. And they say don't wash your hair more than twice a week. Oh, that kills me. I know. Oh, it's so bad. I know. I wash it every day. I shouldn't. Dry shampoo should only be um, maybe a, one night or one day extra. Well, today's the day. <laughs> <laughs> he said, in, especially for active women, which we are, yes. a few spritzes of vinegar solution at the roots will remove oil. Okay. There so you I have told it. You, you're all, we're all doing it wrong. Yeah, there's no... Isn't that crazy? Yes. And for women who we color our hair and we do terrible things to it, right. we should take care of it. We should just shave it, it all go. off. <laughs> just let's get it all off. Just, let's go bald. Let's wear wigs. Then we, we don't have to worry just about wear it. wigs. Totally. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's an interesting fact for you. Research shows that most people complain once a minute during a typical conversation. Complaining is tempting because it feels good, but 
complaining isn't good for you. Repeated complaining rewires your brain to make future complaining more likely. Over time, you find it's easier to be negative than to be positive, regardless of what's happening around you. So complaining becomes your default behavior, which changes how people perceive you. Um, now, here's the thing. Complaining damages other areas of your brain as well. It shrinks the hippocampus, an area of the brain that is critical to problem solving and intelligent thought. Now, it can also raise your blood pressure and your blood sugar, which means you could be more susceptible to high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. And if that's not enough for you, it can actually affect those around you, just like secondhand smoke. Complaining can harm those um, who are simply around it, not just those that take part in it. It's like a virus. So exactly. Yes. So what is the solution? Now there are two things you can do when you feel the need to complain. One is to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Research mm. found that people who can do this experience an improved mood and energy and substantially less anxiety. Work on it little by little and then in time a positive attitude will become a way of life. The second is to engage in solution oriented complaining aka complaining with a purpose. Now this type of complaining should have a clear purpose. It should start with something positive. It should be specific and it should end on a positive. I did not know that complaining was that negative. Oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely. And we all know those people who that's all they do. Right. And you don't just be, complain yeah. over and we yeah. cannot stand to be and around. And you don't, like, you don't want to say like, how are you on. today? Right. Because you know what the answer is going to be. Yeah. You're going to hear oh, it. Oh, let me tell you. Right. Let me just tell you. Like yes. it's, yeah. I've heard that it's very good. It's a good habit because everything is habitual, right? So right. if we keep on doing something, we're just going to keep on, you know, it's, it's never going to stop unless yeah. we actually see ourselves and go, I need to change this. Right. They say the first thing you should do in the morning is whether you pray or whatever it is, right. think of the things that you are thankful for. Right. And that's a great way to start that mind thinking I love it. Of being Yeah, I took positive. a positive psychology class, and uh -huh. they said at the end of the day, keep a journal, write three things you're thankful for. At the end of the day, do it. Beginning of the day, whatever. Yes. Both, if you can. Mm. Throughout the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, yesterday was Splash Valley Monday, which means that today we are giving away a family pack of four tickets to one lucky viewer. Congratulations to Ann Monaco Burton of Troutville. Please stop by our station between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to claim your prize. Congratulations. Now, don't be discouraged if you did not win this week because all summer long we'll be giving away tickets. Be sure to tune in to our show for your chance to win. All right, and we have a really cool opportunity for you to get away from it all with two nights at the Omni Homestead Resort. It's called the Endless Adventure Giveaway, and WSLS 10 is giving away a package to one lucky person that includes a two-night stay plus access to the zip line tour. It's a weekend worth $1,400. Mm -hmm. Enter now to win an unforgettable trip for two that includes everything from golf, fishing, sporting clays. That's me on the zip line. It was fantastic, I'm telling you. Kayaking, paintball, and so much more. Enter on our website, sls.com. And of course, for these contest rules and others, visit wsls.com slash contest.